Last video I spoke about doing a bit on my backstops, and here's that video. So, these are the backstops that I run on the back of my Bauer NS. Um, they're universal bolt-on, so you can, as far as I can tell, put them on any boot, ideally with a metal hanger. They're a good emergency brake. Some people refer to them as a hill stop. Um, and yeah, I find them great for rolling down a hill and stopping in a bit of an emergency, you know. I've got clouds rubber stops on the back and I just find that they're a bit more reliable, a bit more uh, easier to tell what they're about to do, how they're going to react to things. Nice for stopping. I bought these from Ollie's Skate Shop again. And they sell it with a, uh, a generic stopper on it. Reasonable price and like I say, I think it goes on my skate, so I'll pop a link in the description down below. So you're going to need a 10mm socket with a wrench as well. You need a 13mm socket, that'll do your axle nuts. Included with the kit, you're going to get the toe stop plate with a toe stop on and a bolt through it. You're going to get this U bracket. And you're going to get your fixings, washers, and nuts. You're also going to need a screwdriver, flathead, or Phillips head. If you don't have a ratchet handle with sockets, then you might get away with a spanner, a pliers, mole grips, or anything like that. So first up, we're just going to take the wheel off of our roller skate. You should be able to put it on with just one wheel off, and that's how I somehow managed it the first time. You're going to offer the plate up to the boot. Just make sure it fits on there nicely before you uh, start bolting things up. Here you can see me struggling to get that U-bracket round. There is a method to it, but it sort of seems like one of those puzzle games. I think I'm going to try for a bit here and eventually give up and here we go, take off the other wheel. 13mm socket goes back on and off it comes. And just like that, that's much easier. We'll pop the piece on, offer it up. Pop on the two washers included. Finger tight, the two nuts included. And grab our 10 millimeter socket to tighten them up properly. You still gotta do left, right, left, right a bit, otherwise you might end up with it tightening up a bit funny, ending up at an angle. I tighten one of them up a little bit too much and then have to go back, back them off completely and reseat them so it was uh, sitting nicely there. Just the final tweaks to get it flat. Obviously next step, pop your wheels back on. 13mm socket for these axle nuts, tighten them up. I like to tighten them all the way and then back them off a quarter turn or so. Uh, just make sure that the bearings and wheel can spin freely. There it is spinning freely. And there we have it, that's a uh, backstop installed. Ready for escape. Just to cover all bases, we're going to change over this backstop for a uh, red one. They're exactly the same thing as the toe stops if it's one of the screw-in toe rings rather than an adjustable toe stop. So uh, I can chop and change these from the front to the back. Just to screw out with a screwdriver, swap it over and screw it back in. and they're nice and tight so it doesn't fall off. You ready to go? So a little tip, I put mine on my right foot just to start with and was told that it was clear wrong foot because I was riding around with my left foot in front of me all the time on its back. Um, apparently that's your dominant foot um, but my advice would be pop it on one of them if you're not sure and try the other one see what feels better.